edge of town, and just on the other side of the houses, on the back road of the subdivision, lied some farmer's cornfields, and then dark woods for miles and miles. I'd been back there camping more than once, but that was back when I was a kid. And this was on my mind now as I pedaled my bike. Thoughts of a different time, before cell phones, back when kids were kids. As I pedaled along, I started to feel ozone and static in the air. Kind of like you feel right before a big thunderstorm. But the evening was clear and calm. The night sky was blanketed in stars. At this moment, I stopped my bike and I noticed a soft light in the sky, maybe 400 feet above me into the east. I stopped my bike to watch and this light wasn't moving, not one way or another, but was growing and shrinking bigger and then smaller, bigger and smaller. Also going bright orange to dull orange as it did so. Kind of pulsing, I suppose. That's when the light split into two separate lights that began to bounce and dance around the sky fast and intelligently. I watched this amazing show in complete wonder. When as fast as they split into two, they came back together and formed one pulsing light that grew and grew until it was about the size of, I'd say, a city bus. At this moment, a craft flew out of the orange light. It was smooth and metallic and shining in the moonlight. It just floated in place for a moment. Then the orange light blinked out of existence. Then this disc-shaped craft began to slowly hover towards the west, and then it zipped off faster than I've ever seen anything move, and it was completely gone. That is my UFO and portal in the sky story. Thanks again, and I'm enjoying your show. Well, thank you, John. Thank you for re for using your real name, not being ashamed of your story. Thanks for getting it out there. Thanks for sharing it to Eerie Skies podcast for the for my collection, and so I can share with my listeners around the world. Um, if it's one thing I know my listeners like, it's stories of UFOs, portals, alternate dimensions, abductions, and this ties into all that. And it really reminds me of the video I was talking about last week. Um, very similar indeed. If you guys go find that video, I think you'll agree with me that it very much res resembles maybe a portal to another time and space or maybe maybe it's to another dimension or a parallel universe i'm not too sure guys but again thank you for the show john and guys keep them coming remember if you got a story you want to share you can email it to me at eerie skies podcast at gmail.com we're going to start wrapping things up tonight um, I want to thank you guys again for listening, for everyone who shares their stories. And I just want to remind everyone to treat each other with respect, be kind, be happy, smile a lot. You guys know the drill. I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. And we'll be back next Monday with episode 32. The universe is in your bones, and the stars are in your soul. It's never really the end. You are an extension of the universe itself. All of you listening, and me included, there is literally stardust running through your veins, and galaxies swirl in your eyes. You aren't just in the universe, you are, at, are the universe as deep and infinite 
as a hundred billion galaxies. Like John Lennon said, death is just like getting out of one car and into another. Good night, everybody. I'm Josh the Guy, and you're listening to Eerie Skies Podcast.